Hi there, Frank here for Premium Members for the trading day of July the 11th, 2023, a Tuesday. Several things are looking good. Let's go one by one. I think the indexes are ripe for a move to the upside. This is a bear flag on the four hour chart and I'm looking for a failure of this bear flag, which means that if this bear flag fails to break down, that would mean a very bullish sign in my book. That would mean that the daily and the weekly are in control. And that also means I'm ready to go along again. Also watch this little or look at this little clue here. This is price rejection, a little failure test here, or could be at this point, we don't know. We'll see when, or we will know when this whole move is done. And uh, on the other hand, if it breaks down, I don't really want to go short from here. We could break down a little bit, but the daily and the weekly is too bullish for me to try a short here. So I'm ready to go long, but I want to see that four hour structure to fail first. And um, the others look pretty much the same. So let's just move on to currencies on which we talked about a potential 6A, 6E longs. And I'm happy to report we're long on the 6E. Look at this beautiful. This is sometimes, this is, we drew this before things happened. Remember, we hit the Keltner. We said the next expected move is a pullback. And if it goes, if momentum reemerges, we're ready to go along. That's exactly what happened. Now, we didn't get the signal, and I think I didn't look inside the math, but I'm pretty sure the reason is that we didn't come back enough. And that's just how it works. You see, algorithmically, some trades will be missed because the machine insists on the rules correctly. That's why it's called algorithmic trading. And But we, as humans, I think there was reason for us to launch a long based on this price action here, probably around this area here when this high broke, which is when I went on here. So we are long. Let's see what happens. And there, I'm trailing this because there's more on the weekly. You see, so I'm not in a rush. I'm taking, I want to take it to 112, at least potentially 114 back to the weekly Keltner. So that's the plan. I think there's also a lesson. It's behind us. I didn't do it, but it's a lesson nonetheless. Look at this beautiful action here on the Swiss franc. So this is our job. Watch this. So we hit the Keltner, we pull back, and a similar move to the upside in the same direction. This is the reemergence of momentum. I should print this as a poster and frame it and put it in every room in my house because this is how we make a living. Beautiful structure here. I didn't do it, but that doesn't bother me. There's other stuff here. But please, if you're interested in this or taking this seriously, then ingrain this in your memory because this is the job. This, is, this picture is worth a thousand words. And also, higher time frame support. Look at this. Broke out already and not to mention the daily chart. If you just one more thought, not everybody is eager to be on the four hour chart and you don't have to be because look at this, we often said this, that structures which may be attractive to you and to your account size will be emerging most of the time on smaller charts as well. So you trade a 60 minute chart, here's your trigger in this area. You trade a 15 minute chart, Okay, well, of course, it's easy for me to pinpoint this in hindsight. But if you're watching these charts, probably you can uh, get the clues on smaller time frames. So moves on the larger time frames often start with something recognizable for us on the smaller time frame. And that something is more often than not is failure test, which means testing on, of the lows and a ping pong bounce, a strong bounce to the upside. When this bounce has happened, the first pullback after the bounce is your area to go along. Well, not a big one so far, but it could go further, probably even to 116. So this is uh, how it all works. And let's move on to some other asset classes. The energies look wonderful too. Hopefully you, you may have done the 6E also, but hopefully you caught some of this move here on some of the energies. C-L-H-O-R-B. 
If you haven't yet, then I think it makes sense to watch these energy markets, these three instruments, because there's more to come. On CL, we already are looking at the next pullback area. Here we go. All right. Last but not least, I also want to show you something new. We have a new indicator in the form of Remec Inside Bar. You'll find it in the shop. There's two major use of the uses of this indicator. One is on the chart. Let me show you, you how this works. So this is a message on the chart which identifies. For me, in my case, I put it on the daily and the weekly time frame because I like using it on the daily and weekly charts. And the reason it's important for us, look at the weekly too, because this means volatility compression and volatility compression tends to end in volatility expansion. So when we have an inside bar as indicated on the chart, I know you can see it, but it's much easier to have it in yellow because then I can't miss it. And if you look at some other markets, there will be a message here on these charts and that just further helps me focus my attention. So you can put it in the market analyzer and once we're on the subject, if you want to buy this indicator in the shop, let me just show you how you can put this in the market analyzer. It takes just 30 seconds. So here we go. Here's the market analyzer col uh, columns. This is Remec inside bar. You'll find it among the indicators. Here we go. Double click, put it here. Choose where you want to see it. I want to see it after the day. So write the third column from the left. And the rest is simply customizing the colors. There's one little trick here, which I will show you. Give me a second. Conditions, edit condition. Our indicators speak computer language. And one means yes. So if you enter the value of one, you can choose any color you want. When the value is one, then this column will be yellow. That means that we are dealing with an inside bar. That means for me that I have to, or I want to focus my attention. I definitely want to look at these markets to see what is the situation. So this is a kind of even before a setup phase. So you'll notice that I'm moving from left to right by and large, and that's how I make a decision. How many days, inside bar, big move, hot zone, and then we have the setup. So this is how it goes, and I hope this helps. If you're interested, it's in the shop. I think it's worth having. And uh, what else is there? That's about it. So we'll be back in the morning, and until then, mindful trading.